So I'm going to show you how to retrieve the SKC slash pin from your Mark IV. You're going to go all the way down to special function on the VAG 401 X tool. Scroll down all the way to read pin code. Hit enter. You're going to choose the dashboard where the immobilizer data is stored. It'll hit connect. Scan tool is kind of slow so this process will take a minute but it's nothing too bad. Uh, here it's just giving you some information about the hexadecimal addresses where the passwords are usually stored. Um, so for the Mark IV, the Jetta Passat 2001, yada yada yada, it's usually between the addresses of 00CC, 00CE, and 00D0. Uh, so hit enter. You'll see on the next step what that means. Here's the address, so we're going to start with 00CC. Uh, this one in particular works for my car. Can't guarantee it'll work in your car. Some clusters are different, some years are different, depending on if it's a mobilizer 2 or 3. But we're going to go with 00CC. And boom, there's your password. So these are the two keys that I'm going to be matching today. As you can see, the one has a broken keyblade. Uh, both keys, however, have uh, an immobilizer chip that's in them that's good to be programmed to the car. Over here I have the scan tool, got a pair of pliers to use the broken keyblade. Uh, first thing I want to do, put that in, turn the car on. Now granted, because this car is not immobilizer matched to any keys right now, um, it's going to have the immobilizer light blinking. So with that started, go to the scan tool, go to diagnose system, common system, dashboard number 17, and VAGCOM I believe is called instrument cluster or something like that, or just instruments. Enter, it'll connect, it takes a while, the scan tool is a little bit slow, but overall it's pretty usable. It'll show you the overview right here, same as it would in VAGCOM. And then these are all your abilities within that module. You're going to go down to login first, and you're going to use the pin that I showed you how to recover earlier. It'll be a four digit pin. You need to add zero in front of it, and that will make it a five digit pin. So for mine, it's going to be 0, 7, 3, 2, 9, hit enter. It'll log in, say successful as long as the pin is right. Once that's successful, go back up to adaptation number 10. Once you go into the adaptation module, you will notice that the immobilizer light should stay solid now. It will be blinking, assuming that the key that's in it is not immobilizer matched. Go over to channel 21, hit enter. Now this is showing that it's matched currently to two keys. Uh, neither of these keys are the ones that are matched, so you can just ignore that. Yours might show a different amount, one, two, three, however many. You can have a maximum of eight keys programmed at a time. Uh, doing this will erase all keys that are matched currently. So make sure that any keys that you want to keep, you will have with you to reprogram then and there. So I'm going to hit two. This will show how what you just put in. Just hit yes, enter, and then it'll ask you again to confirm. Once you hit this, you have 60 seconds to match all the keys. It'll immediately say adaptation successful. What you have to do at that point is put the first key until it uh, the immobilizer light goes out. Power cycle the car. 
and then put the next key in and power cycle it again until the immobilizer light goes out. And you want to do that for however many keys you're doing. Again, one, two, three, whatever. Once you're done with that, turn the car off, remove the key, unplug the scan tool, and then test each key individually. So, going to get ready for that. Going to use the broken key first. So there's the key next to the key ring. Hit enter for save match data. The immobilizer light should go off pretty quickly. Power cycle the car, bring the next key up. Do that until the immobilizer goes out again. And then go ahead and power cycle the car off, remove the key, remove the scan tool, and use each key to confirm. See the non-broken one. And there you go. And then you'll just repeat that for every key that you have to make sure and that's all you need. You're good to go.